The COVID-19 pandemic has brought forth disruption of our normal day-to-day -day lives, including the life of the church. Our freedom to express faith and worship through physical attendance in the liturgy was impeded for reasons beyond control. During those difficult and restricted stages of the pandemic, the church resorted to the media and other digital means so as to unite ourselves spiritually through personal and family prayers at home. Sensitive to the dangers the pandemic could bring to people, I, as the diocesan bishop, dispensed the faithful of the Dice of Cubal from the disciplinary laws pertaining to the Sunday obligation and holidays of obligation in accordance with Canon 87, paragraph 1. This suspension of the obligation was temporary for the purpose of addressing the needs of the faithful amidst the pandemic restrictions. With more effective health care measures, most of these restrictions have now rescinded. The present situation enables us to move in a manner closer to the normal and usual way as it was before the pandemic. In this light, after consultation and discernment, I am lifting the dispensation from Sunday and holidays of obligation in the Diocese of Cubao. This will take effect starting April 2, 2023, Palm Sunday. The Church celebrates the Paschal Mystery on the first day of each week, known as the Lord's Day or Sunday. This follows a tradition handed down from the Apostles and having its origin from the day of Christ's resurrection. Thus, we remind ourselves that this day must be observed in the Universal Church as primordial holiday of obligation. Online Masses, therefore, must serve as aid only for those whose physical participation in the celebration of the liturgy is impeded due to serious medical conditions. Parishes and chaplaincies must likewise make the communion for the sick available for the infirm. Subsequently, the live streaming of masses from parishes must be regulated. As your shepherd in the diocese, I gladly welcome you back to the house of the Lord, where we, as His faithful, are bound to come together into one place. That, by hearing the Word of God and taking part in the Eucharist, we may call to mind the passion, the resurrection, and the glorification of the Lord Jesus, and thank God who has begotten us again through Christ's resurrection from the dead unto a living hope. May the Lord's Day appeal to our piety as indeed a day of joy and of freedom.
kindly kneel and together we pray the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For us we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kindly be seated first. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Today is Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Jerry Orbos, together with Father Owi Ogmases, SVB. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. spirit. Brothers and sisters, today, Palm Sunday, is the beginning of the Holy Week, and we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today, we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of the Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is, uh, His Passion and Resurrection. It was to accomplish 
this mystery that he entered his own city, Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate, let us remember the Lord's entry to the city of our salvation, following his footsteps so that being made by his grace, partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection. We ask you now to raise your palm, the palm branches that you bring with you. And those who have no palm, just raise the palm of your hands. It's our way of honoring the Lord, welcoming him, acclaiming him. You are God, Hosanna, son of David. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing that we who follow Christ, our King, in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. your palms are blessed your hearts are also blessed and all of you joining us now live stream let the Lord bless you too and heal you and cleanse you let us now listen to the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you O Lord when Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go to the village opposite the, you and immediately you'll find an ass tethered and a colt 
with her and tie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, the master has need of it. The master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken to the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughter Zion, Behold, your king comes to you, meek and riding on an ass and on a colt, the foal of a best beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their cloaks over them, and he sat upon them. The very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and strewed them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following kept crying out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowds replied, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please rise. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who was an example of humility for the human race to follow caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not reveled, have not turned back, I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like plinth, knowing I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Why have you a 
laugh at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. surround me, a pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cost lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. Proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him, revere him. All you descendants of Israel. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human in appearance he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was arraigned before the procurator Pontius Pilate, who questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus responded, You say so. Yet, when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he had made no reply. Then Pilate said to him, do you not hear how many things they are, te they are testifying against you? He did not answer him on a single count, much to the procurator's surprise. Now on the occasion of a festival, the procurator was accustomed to release one prisoner whom the crowd would designate. They had at the time a notorious prisoner named Barabbas. Since they were already assembled, Pilate said to them, Microphone. He knew, of course, that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was still presiding on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? They said, Barabbas! Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with, this, uh, with Jesus called Christ? They all cried, Let, Let him, him be crucified. crucified. He said, Why? What evil has he done? But they only shouted the louder, Let, Let him be crucified. be crucified. Pilate finally realized that he was making no impression and that a riot was breaking out instead. He called for water and washed his hands in front of the crowd, declaring as he did so. I am innocent, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. The whole people said in reply, his blood be upon us and upon our children. At that, he released Barabbas to them. Jesus, however, he first had scourged them. He handed him over to be crucified. The procurator's soldiers took Jesus inside the praetorium and collected the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and wrapped him in a scarlet military cloak. Weaving a crown of thorns, they fixed it on his head and he stuck a reed in his right hand. Then they began to mock him hey, by hey, dropping to their knees. The they also spat at him. Afterwards, they took hold of the reed and kept striking him on the head. Finally, when they had finished making a fool of him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucifixion. On their way out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry the cross. 
upon arriving at a site called Golgotha, a name which means Iskal Place. They gave him a drink of wine flavored with gall, which he tasted but refused to drink. When they had crucified him, they divided his cloaks among them by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Above his head, they put the charge against him in writing. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two insurgents were crucified along with him, one at his right and one at his left. People going by kept insulting him, tossing their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, and come down from the cross. The chief priests, the scribes, and the elders also joined in the jeering. He saved others. He cannot save himself. So he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now, if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. The insurgents who had been crucified with him kept taunting him in the same way. From noon onward, there was <clears throat> darkness over the whole land until mid-afternoon. Then towards mid-afternoon, Jesus cried out, in a loud tone, Eli, Eli, Lema Sabachthani. That is, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This made some of the bystanders who heard it remark, This, this one is calling for Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran off and got a sponge. He soaked it in cheap wine and is sticking it on a reed, tried to make him drink. Meanwhile, the rest said, Wait, wait, wait let, let us see, see if Elijah, Elijah comes to save him. him. Once again, Jesus cried out, in a loud voice and then gave up his spirit. Please kneel. Please rise. Suddenly, the curtain of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, boulders split, tombs opened. Many bodies of saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After Jesus' resurrection, they came forth from their tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. The centurion and his men who were keeping watch over Jesus were terror-stricken at seeing the earthquake and all that was happening and said, Truly, Truly, this, this was, was the, the Son, Son of God. Of God. Dear people of God, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Bless this and worthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart and that people listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, Palm Sunday, Semana Santa. Thank you for the love in your hearts, the sacrifice you make to show your love, gratitude to someone who suffered so much and died for you and for me. It all comes back to the heart. May I ask you again, parang kulang eh. Will you please raise your palms again? Yes, bow your head. And from the heart, you say again to the Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Thank you, Lord. Oh, level two, kayo naman dyan. Hosanna, level three, level four, everybody from the heart. All this is from the heart. And, mga kapatid, pwede ba Simana Santa, not only today, this week, Hosanna. So now when I say, I raise my hand, you say Hosanna. One more time. Louder. And when I raise my left hand, you say, Sana all. 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 Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Thank you, Lord. It's a simple expression. God knows all of us this week will try our very best, Lord. Kahit papano po to tell you that we love you. Thank you. Sorry. I love you. This is what we're saying this week starting today. At mga kapatid, uh, yung palm more than the palm that you wave. Kasi pwede namang i-wave mo, rose, or whatever. Eh, whatever. Ang importante po, yung kamay, the palm of your hands. Ito po, siguro ang dapat natin iwagayway kay Lord ngayon. Lord, nandito po ang aking mga kamay. You know, with all due respect po, there are people who are born without hands. You have two hands. Yes? The left and the right. Hold them up high nga po. Yeah. Lord, itong mga kamay ko, look at my hands. Because when you raise your hands, you're honest. Mga iba yung mga kamay na nasa ilalim. Naku, delikado yan. May mga kung ano-ano mga under the table. So clean and bright. Mga kapatid, clean ba ang kamay mo? Yung mga kamay ba yan, may mga kung ano-ano dyan. This is what it means to honor God. Lord, this is me. Kung mayroon mang pagkakamali po ako, I'm sorry. I open my hands na po. And you know, this gesture, anong ibig sabihin po nito? Suko na po ako, Lord. Ibig sabihin, surrender. This is the time you say, Lord, may I live with clean and hands. Clean and hands. Clap them softly nga. One, two, three. What does it mean? Sana yung kamay mo hindi lang panay trabaho, pera, pero nagbibigay ka rin ng papuri sa Panginoon. Your hands is all about work? How about prayer? How about praising God? How about giving to people? Clean 
little hands are good to see. Amen? Amen? So now may I ask you to sing with me this simple song to the Lord today. Are you ready? Amen. And so now we pray, Lord, I have two hands, the left and the right. Hold them apart so clean and bright. Clap them softly. One, two, three. Clean little hands are good to see. Sana all. Palakpakan tayong lahat. Uh, kapatid, the result to be better. Thank you po. I know we all have that. And God blesses that result. There's one more thing we learned when we were children. One of the first songs we learned, and this is the biggest lesson in our lives. What was that first song tinuro sa atin? Baby ka pa. Hahawa ka ng mama, papa, yung kamay mo. Close, open, close, open. Close, open, close, open. The most important message in life is, are your hands closed as you go through life? Are your hands open? Mga ibang tao po, they go through life, kuripot, talagang ayaw magbigay. Mga iba naman, give na give. Interesting brothers and sisters, look at the baby. The baby was born, the fists are closed. And look, when a person dies, symbolically, open na. Life is a movement from this to this. But it can happen. Mamamatay na lang yung isa, akin yung pera ko. Bigay niyo sa akin mga Rolex ko. Ibig sabihin, your life has always been me, me, me. Holy Week reminds us again that what matters most is our giving. Giving praise to God. Giving to God our hearts. Giving to people our help and giving to ourselves our health, physical health, emotional health, spiritual health. So mga kapatid, today, Semana Santa, the message is this. Thank you for the palms, but more than the palms, I want the palm of your hands. And more than the palm of your hands, I want your heart. So whatever you do this Holy Week, I'm sure many of you have plans. Stations of the Cross, Pabasa, ano pa? Visita Iglesia, Penitentia, Fasting, Feasting, ano ba? Whatever you do, you do it with the heart. Not because tradition, Father, eh, tradition ko yan. Nakaugalian na. God wants our hearts. That's all. Whatever you do, no matter how little you do, but do it with the heart. And God is pleased and happy. Sisters and brothers, what is the meaning of Holy Week? Who is holy? Sino bang holy? Dasalin ako, Father. Nunubin ako, ganito. Eh, dasal lang dasal. Pareho pa rin ang asal. So who is holy? You can say you are holy kung huli ka na ni Lord. You have been captured by God. You are already embraced by God. And you say, Lord, I am yours. 
Kayo na po ang Panginoon ko. My agenda is nothing compared to your agenda. Because many times, what we do is, Ay, si Mana Santa. O oh, dapat pa holy holy na ako, pa santa santa, dasal konte. Even other words, tingi tingi. You give a little of your time, you feel good na, di ba? You give a little of your treasure, feel good. You feel, give a little of your talents, feel good. That's okay. I'm sure God appreciates that. But more than that, God is telling you, I want your heart. Wow. That's it. So go ahead. Do all the things you want to do, you want to offer, but offer it all with your heart. At sana po, let it not be just this holy week. Think about it. God wants you. He wants all of you. He gave His all. He gave everything. He did not just give us a scratch, a little whip. No, He gave it all. Give na give. Ya siguro po, let's go beyond traditions, let's go beyond the devotions, etc. Let's go to the heart and mission. Mission. Today is Alay Kapwa Sunday. Remember what we say? When God raises your standard of living, raise also your standard of giving. Close, open. Close, open. And today, we salute the Lord. What is Palm Sunday? It was Palm is Palm Paalam. Paalam. Paalam Sunday. Jesus said goodbye. He went to Jerusalem. His final goodbye. You know, I was thinking, Jesus could have said, wag na lang, magtago na lang ako. But he faced it all. He knew he was going to die. But he faced it all. Why? In obedience to God. This is what God will, so I will do it. Second reason is, he loved them all. Imagine Jesus being acclaimed by so many people. And he knew that these very same people, three days later, will be saying, crucify him, crucify him. Don't we all feel that way sometimes? You come to a place and you look at people and we don't love them. We're judging them. Naku yan? Chismosa yan. You see, the Lord just loved them. It's hard to love people whom you know are talking against you, people who are controlling you. So this is salute to the Lord. He just loved every one of them. That's you and me. Sana po, we learn the same thing. Obey God and just love everyone. So dear brothers and sisters, today, Paalam Sunday. Question po. All of us, sooner or later, will make our final goodbye to this world. No exception po yan. It's just a matter of time. Holy Week, reflect. When you finally say goodbye to this world, how will you end? Will you be filled with regrets? Sayang, I loved God. I loved people too little, too late. Will you be filled with remorse or guilt? Ang dami akong nasaktan. dami akong namura na sigawan. Sana po, mga kapatid, 
think of that final goodbye. And I hope when that moment comes, you can say, Lord, I did my best. I am a sinner, but I did my best. That's all God is asking from all of us today. Gawin nyo natin ang lahat nating makakaya habang buhay pa tayo. The final goodbye. Sana po, this week, let us reflect. What will you leave behind when you finally say goodbye? And you know what? That goodbye comes very, very fast. We don't even know. Tapos na. So don't be caught. Every day, be ready. So that when the time comes, you can say, Lord, mission accomplished. I did my best. At sana po, masabi mo, Lord, I lived a meaningful life. Kasi po, in that final goodbye, hindi tatanungin kung successful life ka. Successful life, umaman ka, sikat ka, etc. But did you live a meaningful life? What does it mean po, mga kapatid? A mother preparing food with love for the children. That's a meaningful life. In other words, remember this again. Life is not just about making money or making a name. It's about making a difference. Your life makes a difference if you believe and love God. Your life makes a difference if you care for people. Yun lang naman po eh. That's the measure. These are the bottom line, back to basics questions. Lalong lalo na po ngayong Semana Santa. Sisters and brothers, paalam, the other meaning of paalam is paalam. Pinapaalala, pinapaalalam sa atin. The Holy Week is a reminder, a statement para maalaala natin ulit. What do we need to remember? We remember how He loved us. Even to death. And we celebrate for He is with us still. And we believe that we will see Him again in the resurrection. Question po, anong statement ng buhay mo? What is your life statement? Anong kinakalat mo tungkol sa sarili mo palagi? Oops! Ang statement ko ay successful ako, mayaman ako. Mga ibang tao, yun lang ang statement nila. Eh. Oops! Magaling ako. Oops! Masikat ako. What are you saying to the world? Anong message mo? Is it all about yourself? You're just selling yourself. Sana naman po, you sell somebody bigger than you. You stand for something or someone bigger than you. Akala mo kasi, minsan, you think you're the biggest, biggest person in this world. We are not. We are all just dots. Holy Week should remind us again that without God, we are nothing. And please remember this. Wala po tayong pwedeng ipagyabang sa Diyos. There's nothing we can be proud of in front of God. You come to God and you say, Lord, oh, yaman ko nung buhay pa ako. What's that? Did I not give you all this? Ang yaman mo na yan, hindi mo man na-share. What is it really na gusto mong ipaalam? I hope you and I go through life saying, hey, there is a God. Hey, it matters to be kind. It matters to be humble. It matters to be generous, to be joyful. This world will laugh at us. Ano ba yan? Pahumble-humble na yan? Wala. Pera-pera lang kailangan. We are not of this world. Please remember this. 
the biggest fool for people is somebody to be crucified. Criminal. What a way to die. It was an ugly death. When Jesus died, everybody said, even the disciples, let's go home. The dream has ended. He was a crazy guy. Walang kwenta. We proclaim that the God we believe in matters. So dear friends, sana po, sa Holy Week na ito, remember our final goodbye when we finally say goodbye. And let's remember what did we stand for? Anong pinaalam natin to people? So mga kapatid, today too, is World Youth Day. We pray for the young people of this generation. I hear, I hear them, I get a lot of counseling and marami give in to hopelessness, depressions, even suicide. Parang, they're looking for meaning. So much loneliness. Let's not just give them the riches they need. Let's give them all the support, all the encouragement. And of course, everything we do this time especially, don't forget S, S, S. So this week is all about S, sacrifice. Nandito tayo. Sumasabak tayo. Napakainit. Maraming pila. Sacrifice. And you're ready. You're making it. Aba, mga iba, mm, nagbiyahe na, nag-abroad na, malamig na. Wherever you are, please don't forget the sacrifice. As He sacrificed. Second S, sacrifice with a smile. <laughs> Ang dami kasi, oh, di ba nyo alam, nagpa-fasting ako, ha? Ang tapang mo, Diyos ko, huwag ka nalang maging mag-sacrifice, kung matapang ka naman. God loves a cheerful giver. Please, this week, connect with people with a smile, with kind words, with encouraging words. That someone you should call, someone you should text, that sorry you should say, no, from the heart. And one more S, sacrifice with a smile and in secret. That when you do good things, when you perform your religious whatever, you don't call attention to yourself. You don't. 1,000 donation. Mm, bagal bumaba. Things like that. Lahat ng mga tao, wow, 1,000. Pati yung pare, ay, 1,000. What I'm saying is this. If you do good things for people to please you, applause you, applaud you, you have no more reward. Human applause is temporary. Go for applause from God. Kahit wala pong nakakita, you have known that God is watching and that's enough. So mga kapatid, He is wishing you all a meaningful week filled with love and renewal. And 3H, Holy Week, be healthy. Healthy Holy Week tayo, ha? Ang alam nyo na yun. Food, little things. Healthy. Number two, happy. Happy means yung mga negativities natin, worries, your hatred, your pride. No, what na yan? And of course, holy. Holiness is basically more than anything else. More than saying all these prayers is really listening to God. That you really listen. Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Sisters and brothers, you have two hands. Yes? Let's again 
tell the Lord today. Ready? Lord, I have two hands, the left and the right. Hold them apart so clean and bright. Clap them softly, one, two, three. Clean little hands are good to see. That's you talking with the Lord. Now may I ask you to tell, remind yung katabi mo. Tignan mo yung katabi mo at sabi mo sa kanya, You have two hands, the left and the right. Hold them up high, so clean and bright. Clap them softly, one, two, three. Clean little hands are good to see. And the heart, the hands end with this. The heart. God bless us all. May we all have a heart filled Holy Week. Amen, Lord. Amen. We profess our faith as we pray. I believe, in, believe God. in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear people of God, let us now offer our prayers to the Heavenly Father as we share in the passion of Jesus. May we also share in his consolation. Your response be, Faithful God, hear us. Faithful God, hear us. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons, may they be true witnesses of the crucified Christ through their generous service and self-sacrifice. We pray, faithful God, hear us. For the World Youth Day, may young people follow the example of Christ who came not to be served but to serve and to give his life for the good of the people. We pray, faithful God, hear us. For the Alay Kapwa program, may this be our way of responding to the challenges of restoring social justice and helping the weak and the needy. We pray, faithful God, hear us. For catechumens, may they be led to the road of obedience and knowledge of God, whom they are to follow. We pray, faithful God, hear us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, faithful God, hear us. Father, receive our humble pleas and answer them according to your great mercy. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
please rise. I pray with you, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice, our thanksgiving, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, that though we do not merit merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us all give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through, through Christ the Lord, for the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. For in the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. My voices, we pray, join with theirs. It's in one chorus of exultant praise we acclaim. We are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of your sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this life-giving bread and saving cup, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, be brothered together to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Honesto Onkyoko, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, the missionaries, and the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Sisters and brothers, you know God is happy whenever we give Him our prayers, but He is happiest when we give Him our hearts and we give Him our hands to do our mission. So now, BTS, believe, trust, surrender everything, everyone to God, our loving Father. Yes, Father, deliver us from all evil, especially this Holy Week. Deliver us from sickness, from accidents, and keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. 
Amen. May the peace and the joy of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, do everything this Holy Week. All the sacrifice, sacrifice with a smile and in secret. Now, we exchange palm, makadaupan palad, as we hold out our hands to each other. Peace be with you, and God bless you all. Have holy, meaningful holy week. Bow your heads in prayer. The Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, the one who suffered so much, who died for you and for me, that we will have eternal life. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please be seated. Reminder, Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. Thank you. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. From heaven you came at this day. Enter our world, your glory veil, not to be served, but to serve, and give your life that we might Yeah. 
announcement, you're invited to visit the Sanctuary of the Divine Word this Holy Week for a time of meditation and reflection as we honor the passion and death of Jesus Christ. The Sanctuary of the Divine Word will be open for the public in the entire Holy Week starting today, Palm Sunday, to Holy Wednesday at 7 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. and Holy Thursday to Easter Sunday from 7 a.m. to 12 midnight. Thank you. Blessing of bread, crucifix, and candle. Symbols can make the message of the Paschal and Holy Tridium more easily understood. On Holy Thursday, you may bring bread to be blessed during the Mass of the Lord's Supper at 5 p.m. On Good Friday, you may bring crucifix to be blessed during the veneration of the cross at 3.30 p.m. And on Holy Saturday, candles to be lighted and blessed during the Easter Vigil Mass at 8 p.m. Thank you and God bless. Let us pray. Nourished with the sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that just as though to your death, your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, ang daming nagkumunyon. Uh, you mind hindi pa nagkumunyon this week, Holy Week? Make that good confession and make your week complete with receiving the body of Jesus. Thank you again. And may our Holy Week be, be blessed. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your sacrifice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let's bow your heads in prayer. You can raise your palms as well. As the Lord blesses the palms that you wave to him, the Lord blesses also the palm of your hands, that your hands be open to help others, that your hands be clean, your hands be generous. And most of all, God bless your heart. May God increase the love in your heart. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace and have a healthy, happy, and holy, holy week. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
Okay, brothers and sisters, and let's uh, have a short harana again to remember our missionaries. You may be while we wave our palms for blessing. Don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear the sing. sing a song Ha 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 da ha 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 da Mission Banana Ha 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 da ha 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 da And the Lord tells all of us, come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Lord, The Lord tells all of us, I forgive you, I love you, you are mine, take my hand, go in peace, sin no more, beloved one. Sing it together. I forgive you. I love you. I love you. You are mine. You are mine. Take my hand. Go in peace. Sin no more. Be loved one. Okay, my patid. God is alive, eh? Don't forget. Let's make him alive in our hearts. O M G, God is alive. O M G, God is alive. O M G, God is alive. Is alive in you and me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Mama Mary. Love. Paki bless mo nga yung katabi mo. 
God bless you. Sampal sampalin mo yan. Mama Mary loves you. Me too. Thank you. God bless you. Mama Mary loves you. Happy, healthy, holy, holy week. Amen and Amen.